Thank you very much. Okay, hello, good morning. Uh, have you ever heard about that education is the same as 100, 100 years ago? Do you remember that we are, teachers are teaching the same way, the same way as 200 years ago? Me, the teacher is the authority and you just listen and you are passive. It's not anymore and we need the support of these sciences and disciplines and theories so what we need to uh, integrate into the currents to, that you have already seen, uh, for example, constructivism, all these uh, currents, uh, you, what you need now is some strategies. And let's talk about uh, complexity. Complexity sciences involve uh, uh, cybernetics, uh, especially in biology, chemistry. And then we have thermodynamics. And this is basically, basically it includes uh, law number one and law number two. Law number one talks about what? The conservation of energy. And then the second one is about uh, entropy. Entropy. So that what you know, energy is degrading. So we need some uh, emergent behaviors on this. And let's see why. Uh, education trends, we have the fifth discipline. What is interesting about fifth discipline is uh, parable of the boiled frog. Have you heard about La Parabola de la Roda Vida? This is a very beautiful thing, and you have to check. So I don't have time to explain everything, so just, <laughs> just mention. So, uh, and we have metanoia in the fifth discipline. Metanoia is it's a way of uh, uh, changing your mind, your way of thinking. So we need a metanoia. It was, uh, the, 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 these words, uh, it's very old, even comes from religious origin. So now we need metanoia here in the third, 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 fifth discipline. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, ah, we break, we break apart problems and then try to see the big picture. You know what? The fifth discipline says that you cannot do that. You know, you don't have to be deterministic. You don't have to be uh, simplistic and reductionist. You know why? Because in the past they told us, they told us you have a big problem. You just separate. The, in the parts, analyze, and then bring, bring these parts back together. And then you have the big picture. You know what? It's not happening. Why? Because it's when you break a mirror, and then you break these parts again back, and then you see you won't have the big picture. You have some, so same thing is happening right here. OK. And then uh, what about the system thinking? Have you heard about the pensamiento sistemico? Yeah. So that's uh, popular, right? So the pensamiento systemic or system thinking in this case uh, talks about the chaos theory. You remember the chaos theory? Man, it's beautiful. This is fascinating. Uh, for example, the, 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 this butterfly and with these little movements of uh, its wings and then uh, it causes a hurricane or a tornado mm -hmm. any other place in the world. And, you know, so something has to do with this. So you have to be attentive to, to it in education, talking about not only in education, in every aspect. And then uh, this uh, discipline says that we are trivial machines. You know why? Trivial, they say that we are trivial. It's Matt Bertanafi, he's the one who says that we are trivial and non-trivial machines. Trivial, why? Because a machine, when you, you, when you just, uh, uh, you have an input and then you have an output. And you, whatever you put in the input, so you know what will be, what the output will be. So it, it is not happening anymore. Your students, you, can, you cannot predict that when you graduate students, they will be doing and performing the way you would like to. So in this case, we have that this system uh, is more than the sum of its parts. Do you remember this? Que la suma de las partes y el total y es más y menos y so all these things. So just for you to remember. And the most important thing, I would like to, uh, you know, to emphasize this complex thinking because it's, that's the way. Uh, complex thinking, have you ever heard about El Pensamiento Complejo? So that's Edgar Morin, and he comes from France, and he's a French guy. So Edgar Morin for us, Edgar Morin for them, he's French. So the, uh, he talks about the hologrammatic or hologrammatic principle, but you know what? The dictionary doesn't uh, say that this hologrammatic 
even doesn't exist in English. But the, it refers to the, the to the whole. This is a holistic or holistic system. And uh, the notion of separateness corresponds to the Cartesian principle. So no more, no more, no more. Do you remember the Cartesian plane? So we have a linear thinking. We have a linear thinking, not anymore. We need a lateral thinking, way of thinking. This is complex. This is complex. Uh, the induction has a heuristic value. But you know what? This, this is interpretation. Heuristics talks about interpretation. You interpret your own reality. Your own reality is not my reality. So you see, for example, the fact that you don't see a black swan doesn't mean that they don't exist because you are only seeing uh, uh, white swans. I mean, that's, it happens every time. And then comes Maturan and Varela, and they say that we need to analyze the oropoiesis. So oropoiesic oro oro uh, 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 organisms are all those which are self-contained and they reproduce just like our cells. We lose cells, they die, but then we re regenerate some cells. So in this case, uh, uh, Maturana and Varela uh, wants us to analyze this in all systems. I'm talking about education is a system. Schools are systems. Students or groups like this is a system. So you know what? This is to wrap up. For example, uh, when so you have something complicated, you need a program to solve it. If you have something, something complex, you need a strategy. If you check this in Spanish or in English, complicated and complex, you know what? They say, they say that it's the same, but for this context and uh, uh, for this taxonomy, they are not the same. Uh, complicated, you need a program. Do you remember the, this cube? cube? What, what, what's the name of this Rubik. cube? Rubik. Rubik. Yeah, Rubik. you know more about that. So it's complicated. You know why it's complicated? Because you have a program. You have a program. Even the instructions, you can read the instructions and you solve it. So that's why it's complicated. But what happens with if it is complex? What you need is a strategy now. And you know, we are full of programs. In education, you just follow the program, you just sit back and relax. And that's not the way. I mean, programs is just kind of laziness. Let's say apathy, intellectual apathy. Why? Because it's in the program. So what? <clears throat> so your students will be graduating the third year or uh, after four years, and you know what they will be doing, and that's not. You will see that's not what you think. Reality is different. So what we need here is strategy. Mm -hmm. So you need to be working on your intellectual. So we have some uh, reference here. And what else? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, this is my coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, I do have some. Yeah, sure. Uh, that was a nice presentation. Uh, you were talking about uh, how education changes through time. It, it goes from behavior to culture. Behavior, yes. And then uh, you were talking about the principles. And I think there's one important part missing here, the person. Uh, I, I think, and I've been reading this because you mm -hmm. said the other day you were talking, remember? And um, you were talking about um, how important education is. But I think the next, uh, the next uh, trend will be positive education, which is not, yeah, positive education. And it will be centered on the person. You know what? And, and, and that's because you, you mentioned that, and I think it was important. Yeah, you know what? Uh, there are many currents. Mm -hmm. they, they, there's not only one. Mm -hmm. And in this case, behaviorism, so they are just dealing with uh, stimulus and response. But that's cold. But you, you know what? When they come here, socio constructivism, mm -hmm. they were dealing with people. Mm -hmm. With people, with you, and with others. Mm -hmm. And there, they are including people. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you don't need to, to come up with a new one because we have many. Mm -hmm. And, and you deal with this mm -hmm. in, your, in your classroom mm -hmm. or wherever you are in an uh, eclectic way. Yeah. You combine them 
or and you are responsible for for your people. Okay. Yes. Okay. I mean, hopefully you can answer the question. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Cool. Uh, can you explain in one sentence for maybe people who didn't understand what is the fifth discipline? The fifth discipline mm -hmm. uh, talks about the systems thinking. Uh, it, it deals with, um, as I told you, you integrate everything, you integrate the systems, the systems, and it includes, let me see here, it includes, for example, a change of the way you think. Because usually we are just relaxed and we think that at the end we have we'll have the results we want. So the fifth discipline says that that's not true. And uh, you know sometimes we, we understand this because we we have even in Spanish the faster the slower. No? Uh, the the easy way out usually leads you back in. So those things you have to be aware of it. The fifth discipline I would like you to take a look at it. It's really uh, amazing uh, because we don't think that way. Mm -hmm. We usually uh, think linear and we think something else. And um, like this, the harder you push, the harder the system pushes back. And uh, you remember the, 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 this, uh, this broken uh, 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 mirror? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the way. I mean, everything is connected, interconnected. And you know what? Something important about the discipline and complex, uh, the complex thinking is, 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 you know what? When you begin seeing that the books when you have on the on the on the bookshelf, they are not, they are not separated. They are joined by the space that is in the middle. When you 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 see the the trees, you see the leaves, but you don't see the space between the leaves. When you begin to begin seeing or begin to see the space that uh, which are between them, which which is energy, in any other words, uh, you will see the change. So fifth discipline involves many other things which would be impossible yes. to describe. Well, <laughs> but, and not yeah. only uh, we study the parts, separate parts, uh, even the connectors. <laughs> The connectors and the important thing, or the most important thing for me on this topic is not only the trends in education, uh, the, the strategy is important for our military lives, or for education, or for, for our lives, mm -hmm. for uh, to solve uh, problems and it implicate. Mm -hmm. Think, think, change our thinking way because uh, frequently we don't like to think so much. We have to stop being reductionist and determinist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like uh, you are teachers. Do you apply that in your class, in your classes, or you try to introduce to your? Um, Class in uh, to your to your alums? Yes, so you, my students. To the, yeah, to your students? Yes. I, I <coughs> usually do when I have the chance. But what I see is what I'm saying, that we have programs and we have to adhere to the yeah. programs we have in the schools. Line. They you don't include it in Yes, man. In so space. I'm included in the box. I want yeah. to think out of the box, yeah. but I'm including it. But, but I'm trying to get out. The system and and that's, <laughs> that's what we need, to get out of the box. Uh, well, but uh, uh, all the students are different. <coughs> all the groups are different and integrate uh, different ways. And the, in this moment, uh, you must be most select one strategy for try the learn uh, the more easy and possibly fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.